Good morning. Cultivate a flexible body and mind with me as a kickstart to your best day ever. Transition to an all fours position. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Inhale, broaden across the chest, collarbones back. Navel lifts up and in, even as you arch in the upper back. Breathe out, round deeply, chin into chest, tailbone lengthens to the space between the knees. A few more like this. Super slow, luxuriating in the movement. After your next breath in, pressing back into downward facing dog, spreading the fingers wide, taking the feet as wide as the mat if that feels good for you. I like to have my big toes on the mat, pinky toes on the carpet or floor in my house. Send the sits bones up towards the ceiling. You can bend into one knee and then the other. Slow your breathing down. Bring the feet back to hip width apart. Drop the knees. Come back into a cat and cow. And an invitation to take this movement left to right. So what that's going to look like is you'll take your whole torso over to the right side of the mat. Micro bend the elbows. Take the chest towards the mat and then your whole torso. It's like it's going to overhang the left edge of the mat. Dome, make that Halloween cat shape, head drops. I call this the jump rope. And another really nice thing to do here is to come down onto the forearms and take the knees a little bit wider. So imagine your heart was a flashlight, you shine it over to the floor outside the right edge of your mat, to the floor outside the left edge of your mat, up, arching the back. There's really no way to do this wrong. I allow the shoulders to shrug up by the ears as I do this movement. It's a little bit of a hip stretch, deep, deep shoulder stretch. You can try it both on the forearms or if you have the arms straight, make sure the elbows are micro bent. Go the opposite direction. Torso sliding all the way to the left and then the right edge of the mat hollowing out the belly, making that high C curve, upper back and lower back as you move from side to side. Press back into a child's pose with the toes curled under. Deep breath here. I like to wag the hips side to side, stretch out the fascia and the feet. So keeping the toes curled under, pressing into the palms, and then arriving back into downward facing dog, feet hip width apart this time. Step the left foot between the hands and turn to face me. So you're coming into Prasarita Padottanasana, wide legged forward fold. Turn the big toes in, the heels are wide. So you're a little bit pigeon toed. Inhale, half lift and exhale, fold. A couple times like this, breathing in. Telescope the spine long out of the pelvis. Find length, tail to crown, exhale, engage your core and fold. Two more. Press the left hand into the floor beneath your face. Take the right hand to the hip. Shine your heart towards the right. And then right hand up to the sky. Little twist here. Keep pulling up, engaging through the legs. Arches of the feet lift away from the mat. One deep breath. 
and other side right hand down left arm up draw the navel up towards the ceiling tailbone lengthens back really propel yourself into the twist exhale fold enjoy the stretch in the backs of the legs Maybe feeling a stretch on the outer shins, press down through the big toe, the heel, the pinky toe. Walk the hands forward now. So it's like you're doing downward dog in the upper body. Press the hips back. Palms press into the floor meaningfully. Hips yearn away from you, so the upper body's in down dog. The legs are just in this super wide proserita. Press the chest towards the space between your legs. Hands frame the left foot. Walk back towards the top of the mat. Right foot steps up to meet the left. Inhale, half lift. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and breathe out, fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Press the hands into the shins. Imagine squeezing a pencil between the shoulder blades as you lift the heart. Exhale, melt. Coming all the way up. Inhale, circle the arms down, around and up. Reach up. Exhale, hands through prayer at heart center. And pause. Soften behind the knees. Take the hands to the hips. Step the left foot back in space. Make sure the feet are hip width apart. Left foot at a slight diagonal. Bend into the front knee and find your warrior one. Okay, to micro adjust the feet here for a little bit. Make sure that you feel nice and stable. The front right knee is tracking right over the second toe, not dipping in towards the center of your mat. Deep breath in, find length out of the pelvic bowl. So even use your hands on your hips to send the pelvis down and see if you can find more length through your torso, up through the heart, and even up through the back of the neck. And then inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Exhale, hands through prayer. Once more, inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Linking breath and movement. Exhale, hands through prayer. This time, inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Exhale, take the elbows back, so cactus the arms, make a goalpost shape, lift the heart even more. Exhale, take the right elbow underneath the left. Option one, you'll just hug yourself. <laughs> so I like to try to grip on to the back of my shoulder blades and use my fingertips to give myself a little massage. Option two, eagle arms, backs of the hands can press or the full variation is pressing the palms together, looking at the thumbs. If the legs ever get tired, just straighten that front right knee. Maybe do that now as you situate the arms, lift the elbows, send the hands away from the face. And then exhale, bend back into your warrior. Let's play with that a few times. So inhale, straighten the leg, lift the elbows up. Exhale, bend the front knee slide the elbows down so don't round just slide the elbows all the way down it's kind of like you're smushing your shoulder blade it should feel good inhale leg straightens elbows rise exhale bend the front knee elbows slide down it's like you want to crush your chest press the upper arms into the chest last one Good. Keep the front knee bent. And look at the screen carefully here. Just take the elbows now in some circles. So in this eagle arms or whatever variation you're in, the elbows move to the left, down, compressing the chest, to the right, and then up towards the ceiling. Big circles. And then reverse those circles. 
like to call this flossing my shoulder blades. <laughs> Good. And then release the arms. Reach the hands up slow. Exhale. Hands through prayer. And then hands back to hips. Step forward. Inhale. Circle the arms down, around, and up. And exhale. Fold, but clasp the hands behind the low back as you fold. So an additional shoulder rinse here. Let the head and neck go. Slow your breathing down. Just hang traction the spine. You can rock a little bit left to right. Make sure the weight is in the balls of the feet. Mm. Release the clasp of the hands. Inhale, half lift, heart slides forward, shoulder blades squeeze on the back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Inhale circle the arms down, around and up. Exhale, hands through prayer at heart center. Beautiful. Inhale, hands to hips. Exhale, step the right foot back this time. So finding your warrior one on the left, feet are on railroad tracks so nice wide stance make any little adjustments you need with the feet because we are going to be in this warrior one for a little while bend the right knee left knee excuse me as you're ready reel the belly button and the abs up and in so the hips feel like they're moving up towards your chin once again use the hands to press down on your low back and your pelvic bowl and use the sensation of the arms and hands pressing the lower body down to actually find more length and lift through the heart and the back of the neck. Beautiful. Inhale. Strong legs. Circle the arms down, around, and up. Press down through the back, right heel. Exhale, hands through prayer. So we're linking breath and movement here, slowing everything down. Legs strong. Inhale. Circle the arms up. Exhale, trace the face, trace the heart. One more, inhale. Big motion. This time your exhale makes that cactus or goal pose shape with the arms. Maybe find a little back bend. And this time left elbow underneath the right, either giving yourself that big hug, backs of hands together, or full eagle. Let's give that leg a break. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Lift the elbows up to the sky. Exhale, bend the front knee. Press the upper arms into your chest hard. You're going to feel a nice stretch on the back of the shoulders. Inhale, elbows lift, legs straighten. Exhale, press the upper arms into the chest as you Bend deeply into the left knee on your own. Good. Keep the knee bent now. And let's find those circles. So eagle arms move over. Just think of the elbows moving. Everything else is still to the left, up to the sky, over to the right, and then compress the chest. You will feel your legs in this warrior one talking to you just a bit. Focus on the sensation in the shoulders and these big circles. And other direction. You can always straighten the front left leg for a moment if you need it, and then sink back in. Beautiful. Reach the arms up. Exhale, hands through prayer. Hands to the hips. Step forward. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. This time, exhale, fold, hands through prayer. An option to hold the big toes in yogi toe lock. If that is not available to you, no problem. Just clasp opposite elbows, sway, and hang. Otherwise, big toes in yogi toe lock, roll the weight to the balls of the feet, almost like you want to tip forward to increase the sensation in the backs of the legs. Long, slow, deep breathing. Make sure the back of the neck is long. Mm. 
Bend the knees deeply. Roll the body up. Head is last thing to come up. So slow spinal roll up. And bring the hands to prayer at heart center. Transition to your comfortable meditation seat. I like to have my hips higher than my knees. The mudra, ring finger and pinky finger are up and the thumb is out. We're going to practice Chandra Vedana, left nostril breathing. Block your right nostril with your thumb. You can exhale through the left just to begin. And now inhale through your left nostril. Press the ring finger down, hold, block both nostrils, and now exhale through the right, lifting the thumb. Good. Block the right nostril, inhale through the left. Hold, block both, exhale right. Finding a rhythm now. So. Inhaling through the left nostril, perhaps start with a count of three. Exhaling through the right after a pause for three. If you can extend this to a count of four or five, by all means. Inhaling left, little pause block both, exhaling right. This left nostril is said to activate our right brain, so our creative, nonlinear thinking, enabling us to be more flexible, enabling us to see creative solutions that are right in front of us. As you practice here, keep slowing the breathing down, never to the point of strain or discomfort. Just with a gentle focus of lengthening the inhalations and the exhalations. In this moment of pause where you have both nostrils blocked, really feel into that. Perhaps also elongating this pause. The yogi said, the more space we find between our breaths, the more space we have between our thoughts, enabling us to be less rigid, to have more flexibility, body, mind, and spirit. Two more rounds. The next time you exhale out the right nostril, allow the right hand to come back in the lap. Index finger and thumb can touch on both palms. Allow the shoulders to get heavy and relax down the back. Take a moment to simply sit, relax, absorb the benefits of the pranayama technique. Stay here as long as you like. 
week or if you have a fixed set time to practice, bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Feel into the perhaps increased coherence, harmony in your energy. And committing to have flexibility as you move through this day. Things rarely go as planned. Honoring yourself for taking this time And from my heart to yours, namaste, namaste.